Condition Spear Mechanist is currently one of the best builds in Guild Wars 2. It offers very strong condition damage with might, fury, and quickness while maintaining decent sustain. It's also very easy to use with a simple beginner-friendly rotation. All of this makes the build a powerful choice for dominating both open world and in-game content. Now let's break down everything you need to know about this build in details. We will start with the spear mechanics. Focused is the unique effect you get from the spear for engineers. It can only affect one target at a time, and that target will have a lightning icon above them. You can apply the focused effect with skill 2, and the auto attacks refresh the duration of the effect. All your spear skills will do extra damage or CCs to the focused target. Once your target dies, skill 2 will recharge, and you can use it on a new target to focus them and repeat. For the traits, we are using Firearms, Alchemy, and Mechanist. Our utilities are all Signets with just one Elixir, which you can see listed on the screen. All of them combined will increase your Sustain, Mobility, and Damage. Sanguine Array and Boiling Point synergize well together and help maintain permanent Might and Fury. Jade Dynamo combined with Elixir U provides a solid uptime of quickness. All of these boons will increase your damage, but they will also help with your sustain by providing decent heals through compounding chemicals and damage reduction from Iron Blooded. Next, let's go over a simple and effective rotation for open world content. And later on, I will show you how to tweak it for group content to maximize your DPS. Start by setting your mech to automatically use its own skills by pressing Ctrl right click on the F1, F2 and F3 skills. For your spear, open with skill 2 to apply the focused effect on your target and then cycle through all of your spear skills. Use Elixir U just before engaging and whenever it's of cooldown to maintain high quickness uptime and maximize your damage. When you are up against multiple enemies, activate Super Conducting Signet to create a dome around your mech that poses conditions and does heavy damage. Save your elite skill for veterans and champions. Now let's talk about the optimal gear setup for this build in open world. This setup provides a good balance between damage and sustain, but later I will show you some minor changes you can make for group content to increase your damage even further if you want. We are using a full set of Viper armor with Trapper runes, Rabbit Spear with Major Sigil of Malice and Superior Sigil of Earth, a full set of Viper Trinkets with Relic of the Fractal, and for the consumables we will use Bowl of Truffle Risotto and Potent Master Tuning Crystals. If you want cheaper and easier alternatives for any of the gear options, check the description below. To improve your build even more, here are some buffs that can make a big difference in open world. The first one are the Jade Protocol buffs, which increase your toughness, vitality, power, and condition damage by 150, and grant you every boon in the game for few seconds as you enter combat, all of which will increase both your damage and sustain significantly. Next is the Reinforced Armor buff, which increases your health and defense by 5%, and this will improve your sustain even more. You can get this buff by talking to any repair vendor with an anvil icon which are easily found in cities and gym store passes. And we also have the United Legion way station from Drizzlewood Coast. This item is great for breaking enemy defiance bars when needed, which can be very helpful in metas and similar events. Depending on the situation, you may want to swap out Elixir U and Super Conducting Signet for other utility skills. If you need more condition cleanses, swap in Elixir C, which removes all conditions with a very short cooldown, making it a very good option. And for more sustain, go with Barrier Signet. The passive effect reduces incoming damage by 10%, and when you activate it, it provides a very decent barrier. For even more sustain when needed, Elixir S is another good option, as it will provide a few seconds of invulnerability. If you found yourself in needing a range option, you can switch to Grenade Kit or Flamethrower. Let's now look at how you can optimize this build specifically for group content like strike missions and raids. Switch the Rabbit Spear to a Viper one with Sigil of Torment and Sigil of Earth to do more damage, especially since healers will cover your sustain. And if you can afford them, use Red of Learned Malice or Red of Masterful Malice instead of the crystals for utility. For build adjustments, we will change one of the traits in Firearms and swap out the Alchemy trait line for Explosives. And since you will have other players providing quickness, we can replace Elixir U with Signet of Force and leave it on passive. As for the rotation, we will also change it and it will be 2, 3 and 5 on your spear along with your Elite Signet. Don't use Spear 4 unless you need the CCs and leave all your other Signets on passive. In conclusion, this build offers a fun and reliable way to handle most open world content with ease even if you are playing solo. 
and with just few adjustments it also becomes a powerful DPS option for group content. If you have any questions about the build, feel free to leave a comment below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. I hope you found this guide helpful and enjoy the build when you try it. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next guide.